over opportunism derived by personal or personal or financial personal or financially desire or for the influence can lead the individual to practice corrupt to practice corrupt some people argue that public corruption is more of systemic in nature but yes i firmly believe that it is but in fact it's more of a result of personal failures than rather than of systemic flaws like as bad apples spoils the bunches and these bad apples are spoiling our entire organizations undermining trust and institution first and foremost corruption begins with personal individuals leaders and from their own decisions leaders and officials they they exploit their powers for their own personal benefits and gains systemic flaws systemic flaws may facilitate the corruption but it do not but it do not dictate the actions that plagues societies worldwide public corruption good morning everyone honorable father honorable chief and respected teachers i shri anand for class 10 health is here today to express my thoughts and views about the topic public corruption is more systematic in nature so see uh, corruption root of corruption lies in the political system the big industrialists like adani and ambani they paid money to the government uh, to conduct elections uh, so that if their party wins then we uh, then we get more we don't know it's true or not but the thing is that so numerous number of parties they come and go and they uh, guarantee us that there is no corruption from our country but the result is that this is the result of the abuse of corruption so corruption has blood relation with the political system with the administrative system uh, of poor laws weak laws and the poor enforcement system allows corruption to persist and spread among the individuals and uh, i would like to say at the end that uh, this shastri ji said mahan shastri ji said ki corruption karna anyay hai but our ministers and system interpreted ki corruption karna anyay hai corruption begins right and uh, we need to eradicate it from here itself and the government officers they are required to pay an amount of money to the government to the center so uh, where does this money come comes from it comes from the public right we pay the commission we are required to pay the commission for any government work for any uh, tender if there is any tender or any road building project so we are required to pay the commission suppose there is 10 lakh rupees which is paid and uh, which is paid and the 2 to 3 lakh work is only done and the rest of the money are uh, is gone into the pockets of the corrupt officials so personal greed is another thing the corrupt politics is the mother of corruption we should acknowledge that and for example uh, just another example he and uh, the city of kumbha at the end of kumbha to from the river the uh, corruption strike was done from which the aam aadmi party originated honorable chief guest esteemed judges and the lovely audience I firmly stand against the motion that public corruption is more of systemic in nature than personal. I believe that each act of corruption is a deliberate choice made by a person which reflects their moral and ethical behavior. Not all individuals engage in corrupt actions representing that moral and ethical standards can actually play a very significant role in conclusion systemic failures may lead to corruption to some extent but its sole reason is the individual character that is it from my side the corruption of the best gives rise to the worst when these lies i start with the party of class 9 going to speak in for in for the motion for today's topic which is 
for public corruption is more or systemic than personal. And I say yes, it is. I will justify my statement by the following points. Suppose public corruption is too common in the field of education. We all hear you nowadays that many teachers are appointed for education for teaching in many educational fields who are not who are having broad qualifications. And if we teach our country's future, what will be the condition of our nation? Now, the second statement is appointment of officers in instant, such as in the field of health and architecture. Appointment of the such doctors and engineers who are not so capable enough to perform this responsibility would have a huge negative impact on health and living of the people in large scale of an individual. The, now, the second situation is a public a, a government officer is stealing money from public funds which is collected from the taxes which people pay. Now, if we will do so, our, it will affect the people on the area where the governance is to be done. This is known as public corruption which cannot be investigated so easily and because the uh, officers are having the government power. Thank you. Against the public to show them that they are against the public. By these things, we can also uh, conclude that they they misuse their powers and are also has got overpowered, which leads to the corruption uh, more. By these things, not only uh, we can conclude that uh, this uh, the corruption causes are for revenge, but also. The public also have to suffer more a lot to to get their work done and to and they also face many problems which are from the lower sections of the society. In these days, the policemen or the other uh, officials or the corporate workers they ask for money and bribery to uh, do the work of public. is deep rooted in its society and political system. Systemic corruption is the situation when, when corruption becomes the integral part of the state's social, political and economical organizations. And when people have no other alternative than to deal with the corrupt officials. In this situation, in this situation, the whole organization is affected. Whereas public and personal corruption is the corruption in which, which is done by an individual unit of the organization and by the basis of their ethical values. By these simple definitions, we can easily deduce that corruption in India is more of systemic in nature. Here are few more examples to throw light upon this topic. Neat and other examinations paper leak, Delhi liquor scam, which in which even the chief minister was alleged, bridge collapses and many more. These show that the corruption in India is done by the whole organization and not and it's impossible to be done by an individual person. We should be conscious that we can change the corrupt society. We should remember that corruption is paid by the poor. Thank you for being a kind of everyone today i am here to speak against the topic so first when we hear the name, uh, word corruption what come to our mind a, a person a person who needs something is giving some amount of money to a high officer high government officer or other office of officer but uh, corruption is not only there around so but there is some uh, some uh, where else also like uh, if parents is sending his child to uh, school uh, to study but uh, the child is not studying so it is the fault of his child not the parents so it is think uh, like personal and then also if so from 10th 
and today's topic is about corruption. We all must be knowing about corruption and we all must have experienced it if we have done any government work or any uh, to claim any insurance etc of our body government system. For example, and uh, for me I think main reason for corruption is, is due to you do politicians and corrupt officials, government officials and uh, for example, I tell you example of in 1914, example of Watergate scam. In England, a politician just to take revenge from his oppo opposition leader, he blasted a uh, water logging system in a city in Washington and uh, all citizens suffered a lot, but just to, to take the revenge from the opposition, the politician did that. This is an example of corruption uh, in, in inter international example. In our country, many examples can be seen. Uh, like in 19, uh, 1976, uh, during the reign of Indira Gandhi, many corruption cases were uh, put against her. And uh, for me, the remedies against the corruption that we should uh, the remedies against the corruption system we should take steps to reduce corruption we must check all the government works and a committee should be uh, made to check all the corruption things thank you Just a 
piece of thing but they expect it everyone expects that we go and we are going to face corruption in a way or other in any country where corruption is normalized we don't see corruption as a failing uh, value but we see it as a survival strategy how Suppose there is a middle class person who wishes for his family, who wishes the wealth and all the uh, good things for his family. And what will he do if someone else was given more money to for anything? Suppose education. If he is given more money for any uh, institution to take attention of his children, then what will that middle class person do? He will obviously go for the option of corruption. Why? Because through that he is not only going to uh, show his value. in the society but also care for his children we are a country of 1.4 a 48 billion people and we are still being into corruption activities after all these years we are india we will not raise our eyes we will not lower our eyes we will match our eyes with this world and just let's make this a corrupt nation let's make this a proud nation thank you